Makohitika, Lakota, and I was born and raised in reservation in South Dakota. And, uh, my English ain't very good, but uh, anyway, I want to offer a prayer on behalf of my people and the sacred pipe and <clears throat> to, to the great spirit. It is our tradition, one of our spiritual traditions, that we always include the great spirit in everything we do. When we have dances and <clears throat> when we have gatherings and uh, such as this and any kind of gathering, even in the morning, we say good morning and to the, uh, the spirit today and uh, everything is the spirit here. So we always include the great spirit in everything we do because that is our priority in life is the life that he has given us and so at this time I want to say a prayer in my native language it's an ancient language and a spiritual language and and so uh, this, I want to offer this prayer this morning and tell Tungashila, my grandfather uh, I'm going to gossip about him today so I want to offer that prayer. I'll ask everybody to stand up just for a brief moment. And I'll be speaking in my own language. Which <laughs> Hoyichi, and I woke up, I woke up, and 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 I and your knowledge and your understanding and your good thoughts. O great spirit, Today I send my voice to you. Today I will gossip about you and say good things about you, Grandfather. So have compassion for all of us today, Grandfather. Oh, all my relatives, Mitako Yasni. Okay, you can sit down. <laughs> How much time? About half hour? Let's do it. Half hour. You can't go like this. Okay. Um, I feel honored to be here in among you people and uh, we never go any place or uh, be, unless we are asked to go and so I'm very honored to be here and to share uh, knowledge that come, that come from the great spirit and understanding that come from Mother Earth and we share that not and uh, <clears throat> we don't have too much time and so uh, you might uh, listen to some of the things that I don't say too, you know. So, uh, and also, uh, I'm going to touch on different subjects uh, because we're not all the same. We don't all have one. Uh, we don't have one mind. We all have our own minds. It's like everybody has different fingerprints. Okay, uh, we all have different minds, and so. We think, we hear, and we feel different about different things. And so uh, this way, uh, I will touch on different kinds of things, and I never know what I'm going to say. And sometimes I surprise myself. And so I always ask my father, uh, Great Spirit, Sankashila, grandfather, to help me because uh, I'm not educated in, in the sense that, you know, I, I know algebra and, and all that, you know. but. Uh, that is not important to me. And so I know Great Spirit has helped me in everything I do. And so today I want to uh, share some of that knowledge. And I don't know everything, okay? And I never will know everything. And this is the way the Great Spirit set everything up. 
It is like this circle. Here we see uh, there's no end or no beginning to knowledge and wisdom and understanding. And the old people say that if we ever solve all the mysteries of the universe, then the world will become boring for our children. So that is why we, uh, we never know everything and we never will know everything because these are the mysteries that the Great Spirit, my Father, uh, who created everything here, and He made it this way. And so life is always interesting. And, uh, you know, and there's no end to education, but we keep continue to learn forever and ever. And, um, it is our tradition to share a little bit about my, myself. Uh, and it's hard because uh, it's, we don't normally talk about ourselves. And this is uh, because, you know, it's hard on our ego. And when I hear people clap their hands, you know, that's hard on my ego too. So our native people, we never clap our hands, you know, when somebody talks. So we have to watch that today because of our ego. And um, <coughs> ego is our greatest enemy. And so uh, we have to be careful of that. But there's many things to share. Um, I have several names. My family name was up, means a man from the east. And that's my family name. And my childhood name was Apeo Hatchanka. It's a big maid. And my adult spiritual name was Tchatchanko Hitika. It means a brave buffalo. And I was named by the spirit people, not by human beings. And this is the name that they give me, my guide, and so on through life. And the uh, guidance that I get from these animals, and the knowledge and wisdom, and we have a place to go uh, <clears throat> to learn. We don't go to Hartford or uh, you know those big universities, but we go on top of a sacred mountain, and we spend four days and four nights without food and water, and we make an altar, and we have we pray in a certain way, and uh, we have visitation from the animals, the birds, winged friends, and uh, Tunkashila let us see uh, things, and he revealed many things to me as a result of this. Um, vision quest and uh, I've been sun dancing for the past 10 years 12 years and do the sacred sun dance it's a spiritual dance and uh, <clears throat> we do that and yeah, do we say thank you to Tonkashila for all the good life he gave us and food and abundance of all things spiritual uh, sustenance and all that and he let us see things uh, on the other side but it is hard to be Indian but uh, again, it's very beautiful. And so we practice these ways. Uh, I shouldn't always say call ourselves Indian. We're not from India, so you know, I don't like to call ourselves Indians. We are native people, we are uh, indigenous people, and we were always here. We didn't come from Mongolia or somewhere over here. We were created here on this red mother earth. And we were created from the red clay of mother earth. That's how they call us red man. And, uh, but uh, well, we'll get to this, some of that kind of learning, why it's very important that you know, we must lie today to one another and uh, justify our own guilt, maybe, and things like that, you know. And so, <clears throat> uh, so I was in, visited on a sacred mountain by uh, the Thunderbird, and from there he gave me some power. And uh, it's very, lots of detailed and intricate understandings Sometimes I don't understand that myself, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I was told to help people. They didn't say just the Indian people, native people, but to help all people that wish and who wants to have the will to learn. And so those are my instructions. And that is one reason why that I've been very fortunate to travel up in Burrow and uh, <coughs> up in... Uh, Nome, Alaska, to the Four Corners, and they share this knowledge with our people and clear down to oh, all of the United States and Europe and Switzerland. And, and uh, so I'm very happy that uh, Tonkashila, my grandfather, and he looked after me and he take me to these places because uh, it's time now to share this knowledge uh, according to the sacred uh, hoop. We call it sacred hoop. And... Uh, it's time to share all this knowledge with people, and that's the way that it's, it's supposed to happen at this time. 
And because, you know, there's some time in our lifetime that um, we always search for the power that made all these things here. We search for that, you know. We wonder why it makes the sun come up. Why, how the trees grow and why the leaves fall off and how it makes it rain. You know, what makes me breathe in and out? Uh, what is the Mother Earth? We don't know, we call it dirt, you know. But we don't have words for dirt in my language. And we call that Mother Earth. And uh, Mother Earth works 24 hours a day to feed me and all my creature relatives here. <clears throat> so, sometimes in our life we may wonder, you know, who made all of this? The power, you know. It's very awesome power here and in the universe. And we all search for that one time in our life. We ask questions, you know. And so when the time comes and we get the calling, uh, then we must uh, obey that and respect that calling for us to, it's time to search and for knowledge and truth and understanding and wisdom that we get from Kankashila, Great Spirit. And um, then we, many things have been revealed to us and uh, we share that knowledge. Some of the knowledge is, uh, I share is from the old people too also. And this ancient knowledge. And the, in the, I have two languages. I speak two languages. And English is my second language. <clears throat> I learned that in, when I was captured and uh, forced to go to school and forced to go to church. And I went to school five and a half years and I learned English. And, uh, I got brain damage out of that. So. <laughs> so, uh, I learned how to speak English too. and uh, So it was good though. I learned how to sign my name and uh, maybe count money and things like that. You know? So it's very important in this life is to count your money all the time. And <laughs> but nevertheless, I learned, I learned about uh, the Christian church and uh, how they have the devil here, they brought the devil and all that, you know. And uh, I learned many things and I use today and I look back and reflect on those and all the knowledge. Uh, and I lost my innocence too in that process of getting Christianized and getting educated and, and learning how to speak with this fork and tongue. And, you know, it's really uh, been uh, disastrous. But anyway, we find our way back and uh, to uh, our language is a um, it's a, a spiritual language the Malakota language it's an ancient language that was set down here by Tsongkhashila and we learned this language we, we, it's fashioned after nature and creation and there's no ego in nature and creation and uh, it is a, a description of the thing that we see and an expression of the thing that we see and we hear and we feel around us and so this way it ties us with nature in our search for the power that made all of this and we search that God, in our search we find that God is nature and nature is God. And so this way our language is a spiritual language and it, it, it connects us with Tukashila, a great spirit, my father uh, and my grandfather and, and my mother earth, and my grandmother earth and, all my relatives out there because we share the same creator the same creator made all of that out there and he made me also therefore that's my relatives everywhere I look is my relatives the animals you know the animals are, are perfect creatures are perfect except myself we find that out you know and this this way and the we regard the creatures uh, as sacred you know, and this is where they give us medicine, you know. That's where the medicine man gets his power, is from these animals. And, and uh, it's good to know that, you know. I'm the only animal here that my, uh, my mind can be corrupted, you know. I can become criminally minded, you know. And uh, so we learn, we don't have Bible. So everything out there is, is, is my Bible. You know, and all the animals they have medicine. Some of them are 
uh, have reflect our own personality. And uh, so it teaches us. This is the way we teach our children is to tell, to tell stories of these animals, these beautiful stories. And we also have a trickster and Lakota Indian, the, the plain people. Uh, then we have spider, Iktomi, he's a trickster. And he uh, it's kind of like our ego, you know. And uh, we always fall short of things because of our ego. And it denies us many things, knowledge and wisdom and all that. And, um, but there's many beautiful stories about the animals and their ability to transform themselves into human beings. And today, our medicine people also can transform themselves into animals. These are gifts of God, gifts of great spirit. Togashila, my grandfather, uh, great spirit. And these are gifts that uh, is very beautiful to live here in harmony and balance with nature, you know. And uh, we call this place a spiritual island. And I think in the Bible it says heaven on earth and, and, and so on, you know. Well, we regard this as that too. And uh, I don't know too much about the Bible because I never got into that, but I know I was forced into Christianity. <clears throat> I learned from hearing what people say and all that, I learned a little bit about it. But uh, it's a good book. And of course, it's been distorted here and there, but uh, so nevertheless, there's some truth to it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> And um, so we don't we don't have a word for shadow in my language, okay. And we go out there in the sunlight, and uh, we see that what thing we call shadow, we call it nari, and that's our spirit. Our shadow is our spirit, you know. When we have shadow, we have power. We don't know what I know in some. People call it soul. When I walk in my soles and my shoes all the time, you know, and so I don't quite get understand that, and we don't walk on our soul, but uh, we call it nahi, the spirit, and uh, it's very powerful. And everything that casts a shadow has a spirit. The bird, even a blade of grass, the cloud, the mountain, the stones, everything has a spirit. That's why we call it spiritual island. And our spirit, and the great spirit in Tokashila, when he created all of this, he created some spirits to help him create and plant this Garden of Eden. And after all this was finished, they created the animals and the birds and the creatures, and when this was all finished, then they went back to the spirit world, and this is where they dwell, and we call on them and to help us in times of hard and disaster times. And uh, so they come and they help us with knowledge and sickness and healing and all of those things that we need today. And <clears throat> so this is, uh, is very beautiful and uh, we must always feel good, you know. Uh, the Spirit watches us 24 hours a day, you know, they watch us. We never lie. Our people never lie because Tukashila, our grandfather, great spirit, never lied to us never lie to us so we never lie either you know so uh, it is good and to know that you know, we are washed all the time and uh, <clears throat> this uh, sacred hoop all of you can see that uh, can you see you know circle like this circle <laughs> okay I know in the European education they teach us a linear type of thought you know going this way they said there's no past there's only the future and they burn their bridges as they go so you can't turn back and when we have ego we're gonna have problems I know the English language is <laughs> nothing but ego me myself I mine we me and all that you know all the time if you ever hear yourself talk you know when you have that kind of mentality you can have problems because ego breeds failure, racism, uh, hatred, resentment, jealousy. We know that. So this, we have this circle of life. This is the way Tsongkhashila made everything in a circle. The circle tells us that the past is the future 
in the future, the past. The old must give away to the new and the new must give away to the old. These your colors here, the red. We start out with the black is west and this is north, red. East is yellow, south is white. And these are the four children that the Great Spirit created and he put here on the earth simultaneously with teachings on how to live in harmony and balance with nature and all the things in the universe and the stars, the star nation. So these are the four children that Tungashila he put here to find their way. The red man, the yellow man, the white man, and the black man. That's why this is our Garden of Eden, North America, from Alaska to South America, where people discolor skin, you know. We were always here. We were created from the red clay of the Mother Earth. We never come from some foreign place. Anyway, and uh, so we know these things are going to happen. We know many things are going to happen. It tells us, this sacred hoop tells us, you know, what's going to happen, what's taking place, what has already happened because of many factors in life that we don't understand. We're going to self-destruct pretty soon. Because we know that many things have taken place and since we were children. You know, we believe that everybody is good. The great Spirit Tunkashila, grandfather, he created everything good here. He never created one single bad thing. He created man. When we start on this circle in the south, we're born pure, we're born innocent. There's nobody born bad. He never created anybody bad. He made all people good. It is only through man and his ignorance that he created the bad things of life. So everybody is born good. We see everybody as a good person. Because this is the way that God had created everything. So we know that we, we see everybody as good. There is nobody bad. And we can talk about that when we have our own little circles. And uh, we reveal to you many things, you know, that uh, we have, we don't have religion, okay? Our people don't have religion. We have what they call a spiritual a belief system. Because uh, religion deals in good and evil. We have one mind that everything is good. When we see somebody, it's a good person. This way we live close to God. We don't have hell, we don't have Satan, we don't have devil. But when we die, we, we go home. Our spirit goes back to spirit land. It's just called heaven. And uh, our body goes back to the Mother Earth. And <clears throat> when we die, when we die, uh, we have wake for four nights, our people. Four days and four nights, they stay up with this person. But at this time, the spirit, the eagle, they take him around this circle. They, they take him around that circle. Four days, four nights. And they show him all the good things he's done in life. And this, he goes to heaven, goes home. I've been taught uh, the other way when I went to, forced to go to church and they said, uh, God is up there, and, uh, he's writing down all the bad things you've done in life, you know, and when you die, he's going to sock it to you and send you to hell, you know. <laughs> but we, we, uh, we think the other way, you know. So we try to be good to each other. We have compassion, love, honesty, trust, and compassion. Be good to each other because Tungashila is watching us all the time. You know, they watch us if we're really good. Okay, that's how we go back home. 
Mother Earth is waiting for us again to come home. So this way we have a pure mind and a pure conscience and uh, we look close to uh, Tankashila, a great spirit. And it's always good to know, you know, all the things, there's no such a thing as accidents and um, we have a spirit. And uh, sometimes we, we really don't understand uh, because we have never been developed spiritually. Yeah. We need to develop. I can't give you spirituality. Or neither can you give it to anybody else. It's something that we must develop within ourselves with knowledge and wisdom and the truth and, and, and a great spirit and Mother Earth. And, and we talk with these spirits. Uh, they help us. We have problems today. Uh, we, we don't give our problems to Jesus and let him deal with that thing. But we ask for help from these spirit people and uh, they help us. We have to do the other half. He helps us 50% and uh, we'll, uh, we'll do the rest. This way we, we exercise a powerful mind that the great spirit give us. They give us a very powerful mind to, to think with. And, uh, and our, we have three natures about us, you know. Mental, spiritual, and physical nature. It's like the braid, we, this is sweet grass, this is Mother Earth perfume. And uh, we use it and kind of clear up our mind a little bit, get some of the negativity out of our minds. And so when we think, and we can always think good, you know. And uh, we're not perfect, you know, but we want to be correct, you know. So, uh, there are many things, the mysteries that go on here, especially today, about the human mind and how it's been conditioned. And, uh, and uh, we'll maybe talk about that, you know, uh, when you want to learn about something, if you want to learn about your sickness, uh, our sicknesses, we must learn how it began, how it began. And because of our mind must be, if it's not, if it's not, if it's corrupted, if it's polluted, and our spirit's going to get polluted, and then our body has no resistance. And so we're open to all kinds of sicknesses. And uh, so we'll talk about everything in general. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to understand. I'm sure, I hope, and all of you came with an open mind today if you want to learn you know but uh, that is again is up to you we are the only animals that are here can make that choice you know because today we got two minds and uh, it's very hard for us uh, to believe and have faith in anything and we can talk about that some more uh, when it comes time about our two-mindedness you know, we had one mind before when we were here alone. Then when these people came here and we became to have two minds. And that is a suffering that we have today. Our mind is suffering. You know. And it is very hard for us. I'll talk about the language too, you know. The English language. The only language in the world that's backwards, and uh, <laughs> so we do everything backwards, you know. <laughs> and it had lots of ego in it. Oh golly, you know. And uh, we lose touch with Mother Earth. We lose touch with Great Spirit. We lose touch with our animal uh, relatives, and we're all relatives because you know God made these four tribes of people. That's why I always say, all my relatives." Whether you want, maybe you don't like it, but we're still relatives, you know. Because God made it that way, you know. We're all relatives. We all share the same God, the same Creator. So we're, you and I are relatives. Maybe you don't like that, but that's okay, you know. It's, that's, your, that's your choice again, you know. Because we're the only animals here that uh, now our mind is corrupted. If you didn't accept that, but that's okay. You know, that's good. Everything is good, you know. <laughs> Whatever you think, you know, if you if you see it that way, 
and then uh, that's all right. If you like to live in misery, that's good. You know, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's your business. You know, oh yeah, I just want to share share this knowledge with you. You know, today and uh, one more yet? Huh? Okay, you can cut me off. All right. Okay. Well, um, no, we don't have too much time here, and uh, so uh, we'll share a whole lot of things this afternoon. I think that's when we're going to be uh, uh, sharing here. Yeah, we'll have about an hour again this afternoon, so uh, you got your folks. Uh, Get your listening caps on, okay? Because I'm going to just say this once, and we're not going to hear it again. But this is the truth, you know, that we know, we understand. And uh, everything has been discovered for us. Ever since we've been in school, they discover things for us all the time, right? We never did discover anything on our own. But when you do discover something on your own, and then that's the truth. We do not have a written language. Because our people were innocent, they were very intelligent. Like children, they're very intelligent. They're innocent. That's how we live our life before uh, Satan came. And um, this way we were very intelligent. They were intelligent that they never wrote nothing down because they know that would destroy our mind. You can lie, you can cheat, you can steal when you make a written language a law, you know. So they know that. So they never wrote nothing down. And this way, you have a very powerful memory. When you begin to write things down, then you don't have to remember, okay? So our mind goes off in this kind of an unconscious state of mind, you know, kind of sleep, our mind to put our mind to sleep. But this was prophesied long ago, maybe six, seven hundred years ago, that this was going to happen. And it has happened to us. Our mind went off in a state of unconsciousness. This is the power. There's another power here that knows how to put our mind to sleep. Who's telling the truth? And this savage standing up here, is he telling the truth? Is it really? Well, I don't know. I think. Maybe. Hell, I don't know. You know. Because we have two minds. See? That's the mystery about us today. We'll talk about that <coughs> in our little circle next time. But this is all something that we must do. If we want to correct ourselves, okay? If we want to correct or we can have, be happy here. Because Tokashila, he created everything here, and uh, uh, so the red man, he never created anything. He already created this for us. So it was beautiful. It still is. It's just our mind has been corrupted and misled and conditioned and attitudes and all those kinds of things. But nevertheless, the beauty is still here. There is consciousness out there, a great consciousness. We need to develop ourselves. We meet to have one, one mind again. It is very hard to do because the English language is not a spiritual language. It's a business language, okay? It has nothing to do with your inner feelings. There's no word to describe how you feel inside. It's a business language. We manipulate each other. We, we do all these kinds of things. We put ourselves above each other because of our ego. That's why it's hard to be spiritual. Those are some of the things that knowledge, wisdom, Tokashila, a great spirit, he revealed those to me. Yeah. And this way, we can help ourselves. But again, you don't have to believe what I'm telling you, okay? You do not have to believe a word I'm saying. It's up to you as an individual. 
but we'll share some more about our misery today. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and the good things. You know, today there's, we live in misery today. Yeah. We're depressed. And we'll talk about that, why we are depressed today. And uh, myself, you know, I, I choose to be happy. I choose to be and live here in a real good way and don't not to be insecure and uh, just have what I have and it's good you know the spirit told me uh, in a ceremony that um, I used to work you know and uh, I have my people who are caught up in alcoholism and drugs and I used to work in these places and help them with the truth we have a sweat lodge we go in there because our belief system is based on purity. We pure for our mind, our body, and our spirit. We go inside. God, it gets hot in there. We put stones. I don't know if any of you have been in a sweat lodge before. You know, we put them hot stones in there. We sweat out our impurities. You know, our mind. We put cedar in there to get the negativity out of our minds. For a brief moment, we have a pure mind and we talk with God. We don't talk about Him to him you know and it gets really hot sometimes uh, we wish we were in a nice air conditioned church but uh, this, is, <laughs> this is the way it is with us you know <laughs> and uh, but there's power you, you, you begin to develop spiritually you know and uh, how long did it take for us to get corrupted you know it's going to take 10, 5, 10, 15 years for us to become again, understand Tokashila and understand Mother Earth. We don't say Mother Dirt, like I said, it's Mother Earth. She feeds us, all her creatures, you know. So we love our mother, you know. We have a spiritual family, you know. The son, father, son. Grandmother Moon, uh, she comes once a month and she cleans the woman. We call it menstrual period, moon time. And so they, they can have healthy children every month. She comes and she cleans them out. And uh, the woman, in the eyes of Tunkashila, she's special because she has a gift to bring life into the world. She has a duty of Mother Earth. You know. And there's a distinction in our culture between female and male. Today there's none of that. There are many mysteries and many things to talk about. Why our children today are going wild. They're going haywire. They're, they're running out of uh, room in the penitentiaries and insane asylum. <coughs> Why is that? We love our children. At least I do, you know. Why all this taking place? Okay, I'll quit. <laughs>